COVID's been fantastic. COVID's been fantastic for modernizing the industry in a way for communication, not only with team, but with, with the guests as well. Before in the industry, I felt like every department stuck to itself and they've got that much more cohesive feel to them. So for example, for me, when they're buying technology, I'm not just speaking to the marketing manager anymore. You know, there's somebody from each of the departments that are looking at those tech systems um, and how they can utilize it and communicate amongst themselves within that system. Yeah, and, and again, I think, you know, so you and I spoke about it in, in the past number of times, right? Technology is, is, is a driving force for good if it's done well, right? And, and um, you know, I have seen consultants amongst other people within within industry going like, oh yeah, if you use this piece of technology, you can pretty much, you know, quietly saying you can let your staff go, whatever, because you don't need it. <laughs> and well, no, that's, no, it's these things, these tools, and I call them tools, they need to help you communicate between your staff members, between your customers also, like you said, and, and between all of us better. So we can then focus on, you know, hospitality in our case, on delivering this real true hospitality feeling and customer service and everything else, rather than wasting time on trying to catch up on things or emails or tick boxes and everything else. I think it's part of the bigger picture where technology really kind of, in COVID, pushed us forward for us to do it better while still doing yeah. what we do best, which is looking after our customers. I mean, can you imagine the hospitality industry without any hospitality people? It's it's the world of the smile, you know, it's about having the technology to back you up. What, what's been the worst change that you've seen in the industry that makes you a little bit nervous? Um, or is there one? Yes, there was, but uh, it's not COVID related, maybe. It's, it's something that's been going on for maybe, in my eyes, 10, 15 years now in the industry. And, and, and a lot of companies, management companies, losing the touch of the meaning, forgetting the meaning of, of hospitality. Um, everyone's got values above the door saying, you know, we're this, this, and that. And quite often, what's happening behind the scenes is essentially run by, by the accountants. And nothing against the accountants, but... <laughs> but, you know what I mean by that? It, it ends up being all about the money and just about the money and just about controls, right? And I'm all for having controls. I'm all for making sure that whatever we do in the business, hospitality or not, is fully controlled, fully accounted for. Everything needs to be above the board, super clear, super simple, right? I'm all for that. But if that can't, that mentality cannot take over hospitality's own mentality. So what I mean by that, it should be a very well-balanced approach to, yes, we have controls of whatever we do. We can account every single bean if we have to for what we do in the business. But the front of house needs to be led by the front of house people, hospitality people, approachable people, chatty people, bubbly people who, you know, keep our customers coming back, right? And delivering those services and those products that, that we built and, and, you know, being trusted to, to, to run and manage. Um, but yeah, so to me, that's the worst thing when it's um, the, the true meaning of hospitality is, is forgotten. It's, it's sad. It's sad to see. It is sad to see. And I think, you know, the guests have changed as well, you know. Yeah. They're looking for that experience. They're looking for that hospitality. When they go out, they want, it's not just about having a dinner. It's about having an experience now. So if you're killing off that initiative and that actual hospitality vibe, you're never going to get the money anyway because, yeah. you know, people are going to stop coming. Um, so it's definitely a balance. Like money matters because, you know, everybody wants to get paid at the end of the day and yeah. everybody wants to see yeah. profits. But you've, you've, got to have, you've got to have that balance. You've got to think outside the box, especially now. Absolutely. And you look, know, so one example, you know, you mentioned I was on holidays last week. So I went to south of Portugal, never been there before. And the most amazing places that, you know, we went to for, for, for a drink or a meal were these own small family places. And they were all just, just full, you know, locals and tourists alike because, because of that hospitality element that they had. And literally in some of those places we went, it was one person at the front, you know, looking after 20, 25 tables and one person in the kitchen. That's it. And you can just see these things just, just working. But the way they, interact with you, the way they look after you, the way they just welcome you, the way they, you know, say goodbye to you, you, you can't beat that, right? And you sometimes go into these bigger places, restaurants, hotels, whatnot, you don't get that. You just, you know, you sometimes walk in and it feels cold, staff don't really look after you, they don't pay attention to you. you yeah, so, so it's, it's, it's that balance, right? How come these small family places 
are doing so well, and, and they are, and, and they will be always. And, and you know, the bigger places that have all the resources and all the financial backing that you, you might think of are not doing so well. well and that's because of that human element that is missing. Yeah, I think I think when we look at the small family business, they, they know yeah. their essence. They are just who they are and they're not trying to be yeah. something yeah. that they're not. Um, so I think that makes a massive difference. And I think when you go to the small ones, I, I worked at a, lo- a lot of small restaurants and it's always about being part of the family. It doesn't matter whether you come in and have one meal and then never see them again. They leave yeah. you with that experience. And I think that's important. You know, that's what hospitality is about, really, for me anyway. Yeah. I fully agree, fully agree. So we, we cannot forget those things. Whether it's big hotel, small hotel, big restaurant, small restaurant, it doesn't matter. We can't forget that hospitality is what keeps us driving. That's what we're there in the first place. 